Did you tried on one of these little mats before? Uh, just push pummel and shaman. But I, I, no, I grew up on a 12 by 12, and that's pretty small mat in my basement. Really? Yeah, 12 by 12. Uh, uh, there it is, it's up in that corner there. Rolled up, 12 by 12. I can't find anything to This is a mat I had from uh, high school. It's pretty beat up. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. It's rolled up. A lot of leaves in there. I don't use it anymore, obviously. But I just kind of keep it up here. We're up here in a barn here. It's my 12 by 12. I grew up on that. Right here. Right here. Got a, I think I got a, I think they came and painted it a couple times. It's not get the turkey on one side. I think it's a cyclone on the other side. But uh, I trained on this mat here in my basement, in my yard. In grade school? Uh, no, you? high school. High school, college. Olympics. I came home for the you know weekends. Back in the old days, we had to use. We had to have. Uh, I came home and used a lot of my uh, teammates because uh -huh. we didn't really have the training camps they have now. Sure. And so some of the teammates were non wrestlers <laughs> or just good football players. So they just lined up one, two, three, four, five, six, and went one or two goals with me. And they they sent me off to the Olympics. And guess what? Nobody scored on me. <laughs> so they you know get a lot of credit. So it's it's kind of like again, you get spoiled a little bit. So you come back. To reality here and you're getting yourself in this rocky gym we'll go down and see my old weights from uh from high school here do a couple curls with my old curl bar this i've had this uh this bench here since 10th grade had this uh curling bar here since 10th grade you know just uh we used to do one one, two, two, three, three. It's like right now, I'd give you and you do one, I do one, then you do two, I do two. You do it for chance, you do it for push-ups, but we do them from here with these things too a lot. Had this right in your dorm room at nights. You know, just one, one extra thing you do, you know, just to, you know, for, you know, you pick it up and you go up to 12 and down with a, you know, fairly light or heavy weight, just so you can, you can really go it. You start really getting into it after about the 150th rep. So, and you, I got some of these old, some of these old uh, weights here. I don't know if they're even weights. It might be bare. I don't know where they came off. I don't think this is real weight here. I think I just got it off like, like a machine. I don't know what the hell that is. But uh, it works. It works. You know, then I, and I got this old, uh, got this old this thing. I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from uh, Yorkville, Pennsylvania. York Barbell Club or whatever it was when I was a kid. Some weights. Got, got an old, you know, I use this thing here for, you know, these type of things. Have these things here for the old thing where you, you roll it up and it goes up in the air, you know, that type of thing like that. So, you know, it's just forearm grip, just constantly. What's your favorite kind of workout? Uh, you have one? Well, wrestling. <laughs> okay, okay, wrestling, second favorite. Part. That's an unfair uh, question. Uh, so uh, uh, you I'm can't not, you cannot beat a wrestling workout. It's just it takes you over. It does, and uh, it's just nothing feels like it. But I my as I get older here, I like to do a combination of cardiovascular and assimilation for wrestling and for like uh, and some strength con conditioning and push-ups, chins. I like to do like ellipticals. I like to do airdyne. I like to do the takedown at a machine. I love doing that. That keeps me really close to wrestling because you can really hit and penetrate on your feet and you can snap and push and shove. You know, that, that keeps me the kind of conditioning that I, that I like to stay in. And then, you know, when I'm done with that, I, I do some sprints or, you know, on the ellipticals. I, I don't run hard anymore. I've had a lot of surgeries on the hips. I kind of save for the wear and save that wear and tear. But no, I, uh, then I love, I love uh, saunas and steams and whirlpools. You know, it's just makes me feel good. You know, I need, and that's where my recovery is. A lot of thinking. You know, it's not just thinking about wrestling, but you know, a lot of it is. Even though I used to always say that even when I'm doing something else, I'm thinking wrestling, and that may be true to some extent. But, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm thinking other things once in a while. You know, not not often. But. Stop.